Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to read Basketball Buddies. Sign me up. Gregory heard a noise outside. He looked out his window. His older brother, Quincy, was playing basketball with some friends. Gregory went outside. He loved to watch his brother shoot baskets. Quincy saw Gregory and smiled. Take a shoot, little brother, he said. He hand Gregory the ball. Gregory pretend he was in a big game. He thought about a crowd of people cheering for him. He counted down in his head. Three, two, one. He shot the ball. It went through the basket perfectly. Swish! Gregory jumped up and down. Yes, he cried. Way to go, Quincy said. He gave Gregory a high five. So did Quincy's friends. I love basketball, Gregory said. Someday, I want to be a famous player. I want to be on TV. Quincy pat Gregory's head. You need to grow a few inches first, he said. You have a lot of to learn about the game too. Do you even know what different players do? Do you know the rules? Gregory shook his head. I don't need to know that stuff, he said. I'm just going to make all the shoots and be the star. Well, the Reese Center is starting a basketball team for kids your age, Quincy said. Would you, would you like to play? Gregory grinned. Yes, he said. I'll have mom and dad sign you up, Quincy said. Remember, basketball is a team sport. It's not about just one player. You need your bodies. But Gregory wasn't listening. He was shooting basket after basket. Swish, swish, swish. Practice problems. It was the first day of basketball practice. Gregory walked into the rec center and saw a bunch of kids. A loud whistle blew. Okay, line up, a tall woman shouted. My name is Coach Miller. We are going to have a lot of fun learning and playing basketball. First, let's tell everyone our names. Gregory stepped forward. I'm Gregory. I'm going to be the team's best players, he said. The girl next to Gregory spoke next. My name is Simon, and I'm going to be the team's best player, he, she said. Gregory and Simon turned to look at each other. Neither one of the team blinked. Coach Miller laughed. We'll see, she said. We have to work together to win. Let's start with passing drills. She paired up the kids and gave each pair of basketball. Gregory and Simon were partners. Gregory made a perfect bounce pass to Simon. Her return pass shoot off to the side. The partners spent some time passing. Gregory was happy. He was doing well. He passed the ball much better than Simon. After passing drills were done, the kids practiced shooting. Toward the end of practice, Coach Miller blew her whistle again. She split the kids into two teams. Now let's have a little practice game, she said. Gregory and Simon both pumped their fist. They were on different teams. 
Gregory's team will try to score first. I got this, Gregory told his teammates. He grabbed the ball and drilled it down the court. He went fast. He was going to score. Gregory shot the ball, but he didn't see Byron standing by the basket. Byron was on the other team. He was tall. Twack! He blocked Gregory's shoot. Gregory grabbed the ball and tried again. This time, three other kids were in his way. The ball bounced off his foot. Simon snatched the ball and took off toward the other basket. Gregory watched as they easily scored for her team, helping hands. Gregory was upset with him. He wasn't playing well. He walked off the court, shaking his head. Everyone, hold up, Coach Miller said. What's wrong, Gregory? I want to score the points like the players on TV, Gregory said. But I kept messing up. Coach Miller walked over and put her hand on Gregory's shoulder. Basketball is about sharing, she said. Every player has a job to do. Five players must work as one to win. Gregory nodded. I know, he said quietly. We all bring something special to the game, Coach Miller said. You are a great passer, Gregory. I think you will make a perfect point guard. Gregory winkled his nose. What's that? He asked. Point guards helped lead to char the charge, Coach Miller said. They look for teammates who are open and can take a shoot. Then they make a pass to them. That's called an assist. She hands Gregory the ball. Try it, she said. Coach Miller called everyone to their spots. Gregory started to go for the basket, but then he stopped it. He looked up and saw Alex. She had her hands up in the air. She was open. He passed the ball to her. She coughed it and made a layup. Switch, score. Perfect, let's try another assist, Coach Miller said. Gregory drilled to the basket again. This time, he saw the other team coming. He passed the ball to Tim, and Tim made an easy shoot. Gregory and his teammates cheered. That's how we do it, Coach Miller said. Good job, Gregory. Working together makes the game easier. Gregory smiled. My brother said, you need your bodies in basketball. I guess he was right. The end. Thank you for watching my channel. If you like this book, subscribe and press the thumbs up.